到哪儿？哇！哇！ Megan， chill， chill。Okay， now I'm scared. Hey everybody, this is Julie Kagawa, and welcome to a brand new series called Raising Book Characters in The Sims 4. Now, I got this idea from one of my favorite YouTubers, Lauren Z Sides, who did a series called Raising YouTubers as kids, elderly people, pets, whatever in The Sims 4, and it looked really, really fun. So I thought I would borrow this idea, tweak it a little bit. And I'll put my own spin on it. So thank you, Lauren, for the inspiration. Everybody, go watch her videos. She's hilarious. So yeah, we're going to be raising the Iron Fay characters from kids all the way up through teens into young adulthood. This is Sims Me. I will be the caretaker of all of these children. And even though I am a caretaker, I still want to be a best-selling author. That is my aspiration. We will see if I can become a best-selling author. While raising seven children, starting off, Megan Chase. I gave her a little unicorn T-shirt. Her character trait is that she is good. Then, of course, we have Puck. Got his green hoodie on and everything. He looks very puckish. His trait is he's a goofball. And here is Ash. Ash is active. There's a close-up of Ash, and、uh, I also have his brother Rowan、uh, looking very、uh, evil <laughs> because that—that—that's what he is. He's evil. I didn't put Sage in there because Sage wasn't in the series very long, and I also wanted to add some other、uh, Iron Fae characters. So we also have Leonanshi looking very、uh, glamorous there, even as a kid. She is a music lover for obvious reasons, and then we also have Glitch. So Glitch is going to be fun. I thought this was a, this was a great、uh, portrayal of Glitch. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we also have Grimalkin. And Grimalkin's traits are: he's aloof. He doesn't need anybody. He is a free spirit. He can't tie Grimalkin down. He will come and go as he pleases. And we also have. Uh, him as clever, obviously, because he is the smartest cat in the world because he is a, a cat. So that is my crew down there. This is going to be chaos. Okay, and here we are at Wildwood Orphanage. So this is the orphanage. I built it myself. We've got this kitchen. It's a very nice kitchen. Over here is the dining area. Over here we kind of have. A living area with you know activities and and stuff for the kids to do. We've got a cat tree for Grimalkin. Bathrooms over here. Laundry room because we're gonna go through a lot of laundry. Upstairs, there's this little living area, just a cute little、uh, hangout area for the kids. We got more bathrooms up here. We got the rooms. We got the girls' room here, and then we have the boys' room over here. There's a reading nook right here. And then we kind of have the classroom, and this is where they will go and they will learn all the stuff that they need to know. I expect this is going to be absolute chaos. I'm going to try not to influence them too much. Um, I will just give them nudges in the direction that they want to go, but I am going to kind of see what they do and and let them choose their own path for the most part. Obviously, there are certain relationships that I want to happen. And certain paths that I want them to go down, but we're going to see how this goes. So on three, we're going to release them into the world. One, two, three, go. All right, we've got. All right, Megan has acquired the social skill already. Perfect. Oh, and there goes Puck.、Oh, where are you going? Puck, where are you going? <laughs> He's going to play with dolls. Sure, pup. Go play with dolls. Oh, oh, there they all go. Everybody's scattering. Everybody's scattering. Puck has acquired the creativity skill. Puck, what are you doing? You are playing with dolls. That's fine. I got this massive doll castle. Look at this castle. This is a dollhouse. I would have loved to play with something like this when I was a kid. Oh, and now Ash is playing dolls too. Okay, that's that's cute. All right, Ash, Puck, you play together, get to know each other. We all want you to be friends. Megan and Leon and she are watching TV. We're just gonna call her Leah, cause it's much easier. Rowan is playing by himself. That's perfect. All right, things are going well. I need to fill this bowl. If I don't feed Grimalkin, he's going to kill me. You know what I just realized? I don't have a room. 
I made this giant orphanage for the kids. And, um, yes, yeah, so I don't have a room. Minor oversight. Um, where am I going to put it? Okay, so I hated to do it, but I had to change one of the bathrooms into my room. So I at least have a bed, a desk, and a uh, typewriter. <laughs> What's everyone else doing? Glitch. Watching TV. Megan watching TV. Rowan playing by himself. Ash and Puck are playing dolls. We'll say they're playing knights. They're playing knights and dragons. That makes more sense. This is a giant castle. <laughs> Uh, someone is at my door. Um, I suppose we'll invite her in. Hey, what? What? Rowan? Rowan! Stop it! No, what are you doing? Oh. Rowan! Discipline recent behavior. We'll be strict with Rowan. Yell at for smashing dollhouses. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Rowan! Look what you did! Yell at him. Can I, can I repair this? Alright, don't, don't cry everybody. I'm gonna repair it. Don't worry. Do you know how much this dollhouse costs, Rowan? Alright, there, there everybody, there. It's okay. Megan, stop crying. Megan, stop crying. It's okay. Oh, here comes Glitch. Hey Glitch, come and join me in the chatting. Okay, no, he's gonna go play with the dolls too. <laughs> This uh, castle has been the biggest hit. What are you boys doing? <laughs> What's going on here? Alright, bye random person. Oh, look at that. Everybody's getting along except for Rowan who is... Where is Rowan? Rowan, what you doing? What you doing, Rowan? Okay, you're gonna play with a purple pursuer action figure. That's fine. As long as you keep yourself out of trouble. Oh, okay. There goes Ash again. Good job, Ash. Rowan! Ah! <laughs> Rowan, what are you doing? Rowan, what are you doing? What? Witness a bully? You haven't even been to school! Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Yes, that's what you should have done. What? Glitch. Glitch. Why are you uncomfortable? No, don't ask for advice. Go to the bathroom. Yeah, I know! Go to the bathroom! Ash, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. You're being good. Good boy. Oh no. Lonely recess. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask the other kids if you can join in. Talk to the teacher. Why? You haven't even been to school yet, but ask the other kids if you can join in. There you go. Glitch, what are you doing? Okay. You're going to play video games. Megan and then Puck are chatting. Rowan is going to bed. Yeah, sure. Put yourself to bed. That's fine. Oh, no. I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? That present was yours. Be grateful. Sure, give it to someone else. Oh, dear. I'm going to give them advice that I'm going to point them toward the personality that I think they would have as an adult. So, Leon and she would completely give it to someone else. All right. I'm a bad parent. <laughs> All right, kids. It is 930. Everybody... Go to bed. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure everybody goes to the right bed. I don't want the boys in the girls room. Puck can get this bed. Glitch can get this bed. Leon and she can have this bed. Megan can have this bed. And I get this bed. Because I'm an adult. Alright, all the good little children going to bed. Why are you boys sleeping on top of the covers? Get under the covers. Everybody is... What? What's going on? Puck? Puck, what are you doing? No, no, Puck, no, no, go back to bed. It's 11.45 p.m., go back to bed. There you go. Now Leon and she's up. Why? Go to sleep. And now Glitch is up. All of you kids, stop it. Go to sleep. What? what what's going on? What, what's going on in the girls' room? What? What? Monster? M m monster? Something strange is living under her bed. What? <laughs> Megan, where are you going? Leon and she just made friends with the monster under her bed. And Megan is waking me up. Scared of the monster. Oh dear. All right. Ask the spray monster under the bed. Okay. What? Where are you going? The monster's not down here. No, what are you doing? Where are you going? Play. Stop playing with dolls. I'm gonna spray the monster under the bed. 
So Megan can go to sleep. Look, I'm spraying oh, the monster I'm under up. the bed. There you go. Janga Jarobi. There's no more monster. Let's try to console Megan. <laughs> Val, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Megan, chill. Chill. Okay, now I'm scared. Irrational danger from being screamed at. Our author is scared. Why? Who knows? Oh, perfect. Oh, great, Megan. You made me scared of the monster under the bed. But you're very focused now, I'm glad. Yes, it's Phenomenal. okay. Look, see, there's no monster. Go to bed. All right, now I am going to hide under the covers. Okay, that that's fine. It's still three in the morning. Go to sleep. Everybody go to sleep. All right, no more monsters. And Rowan's up. Uh, sleep for a little longer. And now Ash is up. What? Oh, Ash has to really go to the bathroom. All right, fine. Do the bathroom walk. Anybody else have any crazy things that need doing? No. All right, all right. Everybody's up. And everybody's up. Oh, they're all up. They're all, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Now there's another monster. Okay, there goes Puck to wake me up. They're going. Why are you all seeing monsters? All right, I'm going to go spray the monster. Oh, I can't. What's going on? I can't spray the monster. Well, I mean, everybody's up anyway. <gasps> and now I'm scared again. Take a panicked poop. Okay, I'll go take a panicked poop. Panicked poop. Panicked poop. I am so panicked I'm running into a wall. Oh, we got school. Oh no. Oh no. All right, all of you, you all need to go eat something. Go eat something. Oh, Ash is being good and putting the dishes away. Good boy, Ash. And you're cleaning out the spoiled food. Oh, I didn't even tell him to do that. What a good boy. All right, everybody go to school. I can go to school. Go to school. Ash is going to school. Puck, I'm sorry. I don't, I tried to get you to go to the bathroom and to eat something. All right, all the children are off to school. Yay. And I'm going to eat something. Phew. Oh, the house is quiet. Quick, take a speedy shower. You don't have much time before the kids get home. And now we practice writing. Where is Grimalkin? Grimalkin is gone. Grimalkin is off wandering. He does his Grimalkin thing. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Glitch wasn't invited to. Aw, he kind of thought the host was his friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should he ask his friend to let it go? Oh, ask his friend. Well, that didn't go well. Glitch only got a shrug for an answer. And now his friend is actively avoiding him. Oh well, who needs a friend like that anyway? Oh, Glitch is sad. The kids will be home soon, uh, so you need to get ready. Go make a snack for everybody. Alright, everybody's home. Glitch is sad. Megan is playful. Rowan is bored. Ash is confident. Killer school day. Leanne and she is fine, and Puck is happy. Let the chaos begin. Alright, everybody can get BLTs if they want them. What am I going to do? I'm going to play with dolls. That's fine. Glitch, what you doing? <laughs> cry it out! <laughs> so dramatic. That's fine. Go cry it out, Glitch. Alright, I think everyone has homework. Everyone oh, does have homework. So Ash, huh? go do your homework. You're uh, fine. Megan... You need to play a little bit. Rowan, what are you doing? You stink. Go take a shower. <laughs> Feeling happy from slacking off at school? Rowan. Puck, what about you? Feeling happy from slacking off at school? Well, that's typical for Puck. Glitch. <laughs> oh, all right, come here. Go, go make Glitch feel better. There you go. It's okay. All right, it is 10 o'clock and the school night. Everybody go to bed. And hopefully tonight we will not have any monster incidents. Oh, Grimalkin's back. Grimalkin, what you doing? How are you? Join cooking? Joba. Joining cooking is not going to make the cooking go Wee faster. Hoo. Also, <laughs> it doesn't look like you're like helping. It just looks like you're like ordering Joba. me to go faster. Stop joining the cooking and get yourself some food. Glitch. Get yourself some food. Food is right over here. Grab a serving. Good girl, Leah. Everybody's off to school. That's good. No, nope, Glitch, you don't need to you don't go, go to school. More mac and cheese. Oh. oh, who did laundry? I didn't do laundry. Did someone do laundry? 
Glitch, you're sad again. Why are you sad? Why are you always sad? Have you ever had one of those days at school where you felt like you just needed a hug? Why are you so dramatic all the time? Megan is fine. Rowan is energized. Ash is fine. Leah is fine. Puck is fine. Glitch, Glitch, you're kind of needy, bud. No. Oh, Jerome, look at these two. What is <laughs> They just plop down there to do the their homework. Wanna... Okay. I guess they're going to do their homework together. Yep, they're doing their homework together. Lay on and she. Get in on this. <laughs> look at these two. They're so cute. Megan, what are you doing? Puck is dancing by himself. That's... That's perfectly normal. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. Rowan, stop yeah. annoying uh -huh. people. Go to bed. Girls are in bed. All the boys are in bed except for Puck. Puck, go to bed. You're the only one left. <laughs> there you go. Okay, things are going well. And I think we're going to end it on that note. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!